So today I'm going to be reviewing the Nike Romaleos 4. Two quick disclaimers on the review. The first one is that I'm definitely not a shoe expert, so I won't be able to go in depth about like the materials of the shoe and stuff like that. Uh, I can give a pretty honest opinion of it though because I did get two good sessions out of it. The other disclaimer is that I do not prefer heavy, big shoes. I definitely prefer shoes like the Asics and the Romaleo 3s. So take my review with a grain of salt because I'm definitely not used to wearing these heavier shoes. Keep in mind though, I am a weightlifter. I am not a CrossFitter. So if you are a weightlifter looking for new weightlifting shoes, I'm going to give you solid opinions on it. Okay, general consensus of the shoe. It is a narrow Romaleo 2. When I first put them on, they definitely had the same fit as the threes. I noticed it was narrower. I noticed the arches came up, which is an issue I had with the threes personally. I had to change the insoles, so I'm probably gonna do the same with the fours just to make them comfortable for me. For those of you who were comfortable with the threes, you should find no issue with the fours at all. The biggest con I will talk about with the shoe is the fact that they definitely run a little small. Um, I recommend going about a half size up when you order your Romaleos four. I actually went with the same size as my threes and it's not causing me too much trouble. I tend to give myself a little bit of toe room when I buy shoes. So these fit a little snug, but they still work for me. There is a little bit of heel slip in the shoe though, despite it being more snug. So that's something to keep in mind as well. I think as you break in the shoe and sweat in it a little bit more, you should reduce the heel slip. But definitely the first time I put them on, every time I took a step, my heel was totally slipping out. So let's talk about the general look of the shoe. You're going to notice right away there's two straps on the fours, similar to how the twos were. The material is very different, and you should notice, if you had the twos, that these straps are a lot shorter and they don't come all the way towards the bottom of the shoe like the twos straps did. The laces are nothing special. You will notice towards the heel there's some nylon, uh, which is a really interesting choice. I don't know why there's nylon there. And there's a different blend of materials towards the back of the shoe too. The heel height is about the same as any other Romaleo, I think three quarters of an inch. And you'll totally notice the sharper edges on the outsole of the shoe, which give it a nice look. And I think they do add enough surface area where you can feel a difference in your stability while you're lifting in the shoe. I am of the opinion that this is the best looking Romaleo. In terms of how it performs, it really doesn't outclass the other shoes in any remarkable way. If you're someone who prefers heavier shoes, you should love this shoe. It should be perfect for you, but you have to keep in mind your foot shape because these are narrow, the arches do dig up into your foot a little bit, so if you have a foot that fits that mold very well, they should be perfect for you. I'm someone who fits a little bit better in flatter shoes with a wider toe box, so these are not going to be my preferred shoe, but I think for a lot of people you should still find comfort in them. They're not overly narrow. Another thing I wanted to point out about the shoe, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a little gap or hole in the bottom of the shoe towards the middle. This is where this bottom strap loops through. It's not actually locked down in there in any way, it's only locked in this stitching right here. Um, I don't think there's any real purpose to that. It looks cool, but the strap also arcs through this loop here, which I think is a little bit different than any other weightlifting shoes have their straps made. Uh, so I found that kind of interesting. The tongue of the shoe is not as thick as the Romaleo 3's XD. It's obviously much thicker than the original 3's, and I would say it's thicker than the 2's as well. You can also see, I don't know if it'll focus in, but it says Romaleos 4, Nike weightlifting. One more thing I want to mention is the toe region is not very flexible, similar to the 2s again. You might have a tough time being comfortable with your back foot and the jerks because of that. Especially if you're used to the 3s, the forefoot is much more flexible. So I'll actually use these because I have them on hand, they don't have 2s on hand. Uh, but you can definitely see the toe box flexes way more. So direct comparisons that I noticed right away holding the fours and then going back to the threes is the construction and the materials in the shoe. The threes look and feel way cheaper than the fours do for sure, 100%. Like I said, the fours felt a little bit shorter than the threes did. 
but when I'm holding them up comparing, it's very hard to tell because of the way the shoe is constructed. So the four's heel looks like it props out just a little bit more. So even if I move it, it kind of looks like they're relatively even. But just having my foot inside the shoe, I can tell there's definitely a shorter difference from heel to toe in the fours. Obviously, if you have the XDs, then you'll notice a big difference between the original threes and the three XDs in terms of the materials used for the shoe. In comparison, the three XDs and the fours, there's not as big of a difference in the quality. Um, but between the original threes and the fours, huge difference. All right, in conclusion, would I recommend buying the shoe? Yes, it is a nice shoe, super stable, and I think it is more stable than the twos. It really just depends on if you're willing to drop 200 bucks. Again, if you have a narrower foot and you prefer the heavier, solid weightlifting shoe, you're definitely gonna be happy with these, especially because they look really nice. Uh, if you're just into collecting weightlifting shoes, which I know a lot of people are, then you will be happy with this pick. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you got something out of the video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. I'd be happy to answer it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.